Representative Powers Hammond. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this uh, Proposition 306, this is one of these things that they, they passed. This was the last bill that passed in the 53rd legislature. And this is the one that got me the honor of having the last impugning of the 53rd legislature. I was furious. This bill didn't exist during the entire year. It came up as a striker on the last day at midnight. No discussion whatsoever. I stood up and I said, this legislature is owned by dirty money. And Mesnar gaveled me down. He said, you're done. Sit down. And luckily, other people had cooler heads and Representative Boldy and Issa LeBlanc and Ken Clark stood up and spoke against this because basically uh, the Citizens Clean Elections Commission was created by a citizens initiative back in 1998. And it was a reaction to the corruption in the legislature in the 90s. How many of you here were, were in Arizona for the ASCAM, you know, when a huge number of our legislators were uh, charged with bribery? It was all over the news. There's a book about it. And so clean elections and other reforms were passed in the 90s after that uh, travesty of justice in our legislature. And so basically, clean elections has three functions. They to, are to educate the voters. So they're the ones who produce that paper guide that you get in the mail. They run all the clean elections debates, which... You know, thank God the clubs do debates, but the clean elections debates are very professionally done. They're all videotaped, they're all on YouTube. Uh, and then the other thing that they do is they, of course, manage the clean election system. So with clean elections, if people want to run clean like I do, you have to gather $200, $5 donations for people who can actually vote for you. And then you follow all the other rules that everybody else does. You still have to get signatures and things like that. But it allows candidates to say no to big money politics and to run and reach out to voters instead of spending all their time making calls to donors. So it's a very good system if you want to get money out of politics that helps people run. So what happened with this bill is that um, basically, I think too many progressives won and we were too effective in the 53rd le legislature because we got a lot done, the progressives did. And so what this does is it makes it impossible for uh, any, elect, any clean elections candidate to buy anything from a party, Republican or Democratic party. So right now, clean elections candidates can buy access to the VAN database, right? So if this passes, clean elections candidates really, really won't be viable anymore because we will not have access to the VAN database. We will not be able to buy the predictive dialer time. And so we would be basically thrown to our own devices. I mean, somebody like me, I have all sorts of data on who I've reached. I would lose all of those contacts in the band because I would not be able to do it. I'd have to buy lists or just create things on my own. I wouldn't be able to cut turfs. So you can see how it really hampers clean elections candidates. The other thing that's in this bill, which is the other part of Clean Elections Commission, is that they have a, they have a watchdog function. So they actually audit the campaign finance reports, right? Because that was part of the problem with ASCAM was people were taking bribes. And so they don't just audit my reports. They audited ours last year and they found our typos, right? <laughs> you know? so, but there's big things that they found. Like, for example, Jesus Rubalcaba, you know, back in 2017, he was a clean elections candidate. Instead of creating a separate bank account, he put his $16,000 of primary money into his own uh, personal bank account and then somehow lost his receipts. I mean, this guy was in, I mean, is he corrupt or is he dumb? I wasn't sure, but you know, it was not the thing to do. They, they caught him uh, and he lost his seat, basically. There's other things like Gowan, you know, Gowan spent $50,000 he claimed on his legislative account, which was actually mileage for his campaign. You know, so we still have corruption in this state. So to lose that watchdog function over campaign finance would be really bad. Basically, all the decisions of the independent Clean Elections Commission would go under Doug Ducey right now. So he could veto anything. So if they came up and said, you know, Mesnar's campaign finance looks funny, we're going to look at it, he said, no, it'd be fine, right? So please vote no on this. Uh, and again, I have flyers out there because I'm saying if you're upset with investing it and outlaw dirty money, getting off the ballot, the three things you can do that go after big money politics and tax giveaways and education funding are vote no on 126, which is that tax giveaway the, the realtors put up, no on 305, obviously the vouchers, and no on, no on the clean elections takeover. So thank you very much.